Hello, and welcome to our SEMrush SEO Toolkit course. My name is Ashley Ward. I'm a digital marketing strategist at SEMrush and a passionate digital marketer. I'll guide you through this course. This is the beginning of our course, and it's devoted just to technical SEO. Technical SEO is actually the foundation to your entire SEO strategy. It's all about how your website is built and structured and how easy it is for search engines to crawl and index your content. Some technical SEO issues might even render your website invisible to search engines, so it's critical to understand, define, and be able to fix them. So in the first lesson of our module, we will check and take steps to improve your website's health. We will streamline this process with the help of our all-around technical SEO tool, the Site Audit tool. This helps you find, prioritize, and fix technical and on-page issues to boost your website's health and your SEO. Let's learn more about Site Audit and start with setting it up. At the first step, enter your crawl scope. It can be a domain, a subdomain, or a subfolder. Set the limit of crawled pages. You can crawl up to 100,000 pages per audit. Specify the crawl source. It can be the website itself, its sitemap, or even a custom sitemap. If you want to give your AMP pages priority over other pages during the crawl, check the Crawl AMP Pages First checkbox below. At the second step, choose a user agent name to crawl your site. It can either be the mobile or desktop version of the SEMrush bot or the Google bot. Then set a crawl delay. We recommend choosing the minimum delay option to maximize the auditing speed. But if you suspect that our crawler slows down your website, then choose the second option to tell it to respect the crawl delay directive from your robots.txt file. The third option is introduced in case you don't have access to your robots.txt file. But you want to avoid your website's performance drop during crawl. If you choose this option, the crawling speed will be limited to one URL per two seconds. At the third step, apply allow disallow rules to include or exclude the exact parts of your site from the audit. Entering a specific subfolder in the allow box will narrow down the audit scope to this very subfolder. Disallow rules, in turn, tell the tool to exclude the entered subfolder from the crawling. At the fourth step, specify URL parameters you want to be ignored during crawling. As a result, certain URLs with and without entered parameters will be considered as the same page. Finally, schedule automatic audits, setting the preferred day of the week for the audit. You can also check the checkbox about the Start Site Audit button to let the tool send you an email once an audit is complete. Click this button to start the audit. Later on, you'll be able to connect your Google Analytics account. We recommend doing that for the sake of prioritization. Your top viewed pages will show up first in the audit list. Remember, you can always readjust setup parameters for future recalls. After the report is ready, you will see the tool's main screen. It comprises the total score metric that reflects the density of your website's problems. The crawled pages count with a breakdown of your pages by their status, healthy, broken, have issues, redirects, or blocked. The robots.txt updates widget that checks the robots.txt file for availability and changes made to it since previous crawl. It's important to keep abreast of even minor changes to your robots.txt file, since any issue may damage your rankings. Three types of issues that prevent your website from getting high rankings or cause a bad user experience. These types are grouped by their impact on your website's health in descending order. Errors, warnings, and notices. We advise you to focus on errors first, since those affect your SEO efforts the most. Below there is a list of thematic reports with personal scores of your website, crawlability, HTTPS implementation, international SEO, performance, and internal linking. By clicking the button of any report, you'll fall through to a page with a detailed info about the corresponding aspect of technical SEO. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a list of your website's top issues. These issues are sorted by their severity. There are several ways to start reviewing and fixing the issues. Let's click the blue button to get to the report with the list of all issues. Every issue in the list has the why and how to fix it tooltip to give you more information about it. Clicking on a certain issue will reveal URLs with that issue. You can hide issues you fixed or consider irrelevant or unimportant. Be aware that hiding issues will prevent the site audit from checking for it in the future recrawls. 
Finally, you can send the tasks regarding the issues directly to Trello, asking your teammates to deal with them. Another way of tackling the issue is doing it page by page under the Crawled Pages tab. You can sort your pages by the number of issues or, provided that you had connected your Google Analytics account, by unique page views. You can apply different filters to select certain pages to start working with. For instance, you might want to start fixing pages with slow load speed right away, or you can't wait to clean up the mess with your broken pages. A useful feature here is that you can re-audit a chosen URL to let the tool perform the checks right away. Toggle the Site Structure view to see the distribution of issues across your website subfolders. Go to the Statistics page to see the statistical summary of your website. There you'll find out if your website's pages have no markup. In this case, you might want to implement some. You'll also find out if there are more than three clicks away from the home page. It would be wise to make these pages more reachable for users and crawlers. If they have 400 and 500 status codes, make sure that you have as few of them as possible. Or with the rel canonical tag, in case you have duplicate content on your website, you definitely need to canonicalize those pages properly to not jeopardize your SEO. Have no AMP link. If you've implemented AMP to your website, don't forget to link your pages with AMP version. Have only one incoming internal link. Try to furnish your pages with several incoming internal links each. Internal linking is an important part of SEO. Pages without hreflang issues. If you target multiple countries with different spoken languages, hreflang usage issues is something you should avoid at all costs. After you've made your first recrawl, you'll be able to compare two crawls head to head in the compare crawls report. You'll see how your issues have changed over time. Eventually, when there are multiple crawls, you'll be free to choose any pair to compare. To visualize the trend of your technical and on-page issue fixing endeavors, go to the Progress tab. You'll see how the number of every issue as well as total issues changed from crawl to crawl. The graph is interactive, so you can fine-tune it to examine your progress on any desired issues. Then, you can add notes to track what has been done and when, and how this has affected your website. The last two reports will help you stay on top of your website's health. So let's sum up. You can learn more about your website's technical and on-page issues with the help of the Site Audit tool, which unites more than 120 checks. You can also set up weekly email notifications to stay informed of your progress. The tool is constantly evolving, so practice it way more often. Also, you can go to the Read Further section, refer to our knowledge base, and take a look at our blog to learn more about the Site Audit tool. Thank <laughs> you.